Welcome back to my series on building a bandsaw mill. Today I'm working on the log dogs. I want to be able to lift my log on each end to account for any tapers, especially sawing to grade. You want to get the lumber that's just under the bark. In order to do that, you've got to move the log up. And sometimes you do this on all four sides and you wind up with a cant that's tapered. But who cares? You get the good, the good lumber out, especially for maple or cherry or one of those better logs. So what I have here is what's left of a uh, jack for a trailer. This is a 2,000 pound jack square and it was one of those that, that it collapsed up inside and it had a lever you step on and the, uh, the leg would drop out to adjust to the height of the trailer. So this is working out perfectly. I've cut it off, I've taken, this is the inside, I've taken it out and I've welded it back on the end and rid of all of the equipment that it took to make that drop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this right on here. This is obviously extended. This will drop down just below the level of the bunk. And when I need it, I'll have an arm that comes out to a crank out here. And I can just crank it up. It only takes a couple inches normally at best, maybe three on a real tapered log. And when it's not being in use, I just lay it back down here. I'll have two of them, one on each end, and if I need more, I can make them. This was about $45 on eBay. Uh, so I'll get this welded on and we'll take another look at it. This will be kind of short, but the idea is to use the jack to do the lift. This jack also, this inside part had holes in it where the dog dropped in. So if I am afraid this log is going to roll on me, I'll have a pen that I can just drop in there to keep it from rolling. So this should work out pretty good. All right, I about got the handle made. What I did was I cut off the original handle, welded it onto a half inch rod, and uh, this is a, a nut to join two pieces of threaded rod together. It's a long nut, just something I had around. What I wanted to show you is, I like to put grease fittings on things, and what I do is I weld a quarter 28 nut on, and then after I've welded I bore a small hole through it, and then I can screw my uh, grease fitting on, and I don't have to try to tap into something like this that's too small anyway. And uh, that seems to work out real good. You just got to make sure you get all the weld all the way around so you don't get any leaks. But if you do, so what? All right, I got it on. It's uh, welded in. Pretty rugged. And it works. I don't know if you could ask for any more than that. It lift 2,000 pounds by design, so I don't think he's going to have any problem lifting half of a, a log on this mill.